Welcome back. Continuing coverage of the Michigan primary tonight. That's right. Joe LaFergie at the Kent County Clerk's Office in downtown Grand Rapids. Workers counting away there. Yep. Yeah. And he's uh, joined uh, now by uh, Clerk Lisa Posthumous Lyons as well. Joe? Thanks, Brian and Sue. Lisa, thanks for joining us again. Uh, you're counting away in the back there, but you just had a big chunk of numbers come in. Tell us about that. Yeah, so right now we're at about 15% of our precincts fully reporting. Um, that number is obviously going to climb. We've got Grand Rapids precinct numbers coming in. We've got Kentwood coming in. So we'll, um, as those come in, we're, report, we're um, reporting those on the website. Uh, you're going to start seeing a lot of votes um, start, become, start being reported because um, we're now getting the results. When we get results, you'll get results. And that's just kind of how it works. It's taking a little longer than it has in the past five years, simply because we're just not using modems, uh, secure wireless modems anymore. Well, and add to that, these are the votes cast today in the precincts. Those absentee ballots are still out there being counted. Yeah, we, we are getting some of our absentee um, counting board results come in from, from different jurisdictions, just not all of them at the same time. So you'll see some um, absentee uh, absentee results have come in and we've reported but like you said with Grand Rapids for example we don't have those absentee ballots or we don't have those absentee results yet still looking at maybe tomorrow morning uh, or is it too hard to tell right now um, I'm certain it's going to be tomorrow morning um, I'm I, it's my hope we're done by seven o'clock uh, tomorrow morning a 24-hour turnaround um, but you just we just can't tell at this point but things are moving smoothly uh, taking time to count votes isn't a delay in the process it is the process and so we just need to be patient because we cannot sacrifice security and accuracy for expediency and let's talk about that a little bit the, the really heavy lifting on this election starts for you tonight with the count then moving forward to the board of canvassers talk about the public input to that the board of canvassers coming up sure so election day is is um where the local the locals shine, the boots on the ground. Election night when the polls close, that's when um, my office really kicks into gear um, for the post-election. You know, we do a lot of the training and a lot of, you know, the working on the on the equipment, um, programming the, the election, but on the back side, the, the key check and balance, I mean, we've got a lot of checks and balances, but I think the key is um, our absentee counting board. And we're very transparent. It's an open meeting. Um, we want people to come and observe that process. And that is where we're going to take those um, results tapes, the paper tapes from the precincts, and compare that to the results that we've reported. Okay, and that happens starting? That happens Thursday at 9 a.m. Public's welcome, encouraged to attend. Right here at the county building. Lisa, thanks for joining us. Back to you.